Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Michelle from Michelle's Empty Nest. Today we are going to do week five in my 2021 Project Life. Um, everything with the exception of the Citrus Twist Kit um, chipboard came from the Allie Edwards Stories by the Month kit for February of 2020. I didn't use any of this kit last year, and so I'm hoping by doing both 2020 and 2021 in like in tandem right now, that I can go through this, this entire kit, plus hopefully pull some things from my stash as well. Um, and also for this week, I uh, did not find a color in the Stories by the Month, or excuse me, Stories by the Year kit. The closest one was this but it was way too orange. And then there was, you know, the red color that was way too red. So I did the same thing I did last week. And in Photoshop, um, I already have a template set up set with three, three by, excuse me, three, four by six cards on one piece of eight and a half by 11 paper. And I just pulled in the image of the kit from Allie's website and used the color picker. And I went ahead and did these three colors because they all were from the kit and if I don't use them um, in this month with this kit they may pair up with something later on and so I'd rather just go ahead and print all three and fill up that whole paper instead of just wasting paper. So I do print these on matte photo paper. It makes the print be so much closer to the actual colors from the kit. Um, there's, you know, it's just very crisp. There's no streaks. It's not splotchy. It just looks, um, looks more like a professional print. So everything is from that kit, including the chipboard, except for this one. And I wanted something to put in between my dates. Um, I know Dearly Dee puts a little hand-drawn heart and Crystal Idunyate has been putting something between hers and I love that. So I've been doing that as well. Um, and I think it's probably going to end up being this pink heart, but we'll see. There is a little bit of a peachy color in this kit as well. So those are going to be, one of those will be my date separators. So, um, I am using this card this week. So these two will just go into my little bin of, um, um, what is this thing I'm doing? <laughs> project Life. It will go into my little Project Life bin for later on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything laid out. I have my planning sheet up here from Crystal that's gonna kind of remind me of where everything is supposed to go. And we'll get this one done. So let's do it. Okay, as I am laying out my cards, I want to say I told you a fib. Um, you're going to see some leather or uh, pleather gray rectangle puffy fray stickers, if that wasn't a long enough name. Um, there's three of them on there, and they are also from Citrus Twist Kits. I had put them on ahead of time, and so they were out of sight, out of mind. But I had two white blank spaces that needed, you know, a label or some stamping or something. And I didn't want to get out stamps. And so these worked pretty good. And then I ended up adding a third one just to get that um, visual triangle there. So I'm going ahead and putting all of the loose pieces in place so it's just easier to move things around. So um, I put that little meme about this being a, a puke causing concussion giving bone breaking kid rocket launching hunk of metal um that many of us uh, who were born probably in the 70s and 80s maybe even sooner than that played on on the playground um so i loved that one and um i put it and the journal card just onto a piece of um computer paper to keep them in place i only had or actually i had no four by six cards this week um now I'm working on that little picture with the groundhog. This would have been on Groundhog Day, and it says, Don't ask, Georgia. Might be 78 next week, might be 15, and that is the honest-to-goodness truth. It is crazy weather here a lot of times. Um, and then I'm now putting that, uh, it's a, I think it's a Twitter uh, screenshot, and it's about going to the gynecologist and trying to hide your underwear under your jeans, even though the doctor is about to look at your body. And it was just funny. So I put that on that little floral card with the white space at the bottom. 
Um, and now I am, I may have already put down, I wasn't looking, I may have put down that uh, card that says February, the story of right now, and then it's got a fear. Uh, it's actually lyrics from a song. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. And I got that from an Instagram account, account I follow that creates t-shirts. And now I am putting these two three by fours, which relate to each other, onto a piece of paper as well. Um, and the label on that one says my very first 12 by 12 layout. I made that for the first day of the load, uh, load uh, layout a day in uh, February. I did that through Scrap Happy. And I actually ended up making a 12 by 12 layout every single day uh, for the prompt. And I just kind of made that an extra challenge to myself to do 12 by 12s instead of pocket pages. And I, I included a picture of the dining room as a three by four. It's actually the picture that's in that middle photo on my 12 by 12 layout up there. And so I just wanted to have it as a bigger picture. All right, so I have stamped my date range on that card that I created from the digital kit so that I could, I actually, I think I made it match the February over on the far right just to kind of bring that color across the layout a little bit. And now I'm putting on some chipboard so that I, I wanted that little heart one above February memories. And then I used this day there on a, that's the a two by two project, which Kelly Bangs from Kelly Bangs Creative. Um, she releases a little two by two set every month and um, you can just put them in the pockets, decorate them. I love doing it. It's just fun and simple. So um, I put that on there. And then down by the groundhog, it says just this because it's, it's the truth. And then I put the more pink of those hearts on the citrus twist chipboard sheet as my date separator. Now, I love where it says documented right there under my date range. I'm okay with the one that says truth right there. And I'm good with the one that says tell it like it is that I'm putting on right now. That's where I wish I had stopped. Um, for some reason I decided, well, let me just go ahead and add a few more. And so I had a couple that I could put in a place that didn't look too bad. And then I kind of got to a point where it was like, eh, I've gone so far now, I, I need to put one on every photo. And there just wasn't a good place on every photo, um, to have one. It was just kind of a forced Thing. Um, this one I end up spanning over the two pictures to kind of show that they were related, but I don't like it. Um, but you know, it's okay. I end up putting one on every single photo. I put well on camera or off camera, excuse me. I actually go ahead and put one onto that merry-go-round meme. At first, I was just leaving it blank because I was struggling so bad with it. I end up just putting one that says yes, kind of. Um, on the merry-go-round and you'll see that in the close-ups at the end and over on Instagram if you look at those and by the way I would love for you to follow me over on Instagram I post over there very regularly and do a lot of different types of projects and posts so um, but I'm going to finish up these this last couple of stickers and then I will be done for today Okay, that's where we are calling this one done. I love all the shades of pink. Pink is my favorite color. Um, and there's the light pinks, the more rosy pinks. It gets into a little bit of the darker pinks and even a little bit more to the peachy coral side. So I love the colors in this kit. Um, I like everything except for the black fray stickers. I may have talked about it in the voiceover. Um, I like this one. And then maybe I could have put two more just to kind of have that visual triangle. But once I had gone to the point where I needed to put one on every picture or it was just going to look odd, um, it was hard to find a good place to put one and make it look okay. So I wish I had um, just skipped them or cut way back on how many I put. I feel like they're a little overwhelming. Um, and kind of detract from the other stuff. But um, as always, it's done, it's dusted, and it's ready to go into my album, and that is the most important part. So, um, I appreciate you stopping by so much today. It means more to me than you will ever know. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up down below. 
Um, and also, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to consider doing that and becoming a part of my little YouTube family. I will have some products linked below um, for things that are still available. And until the next time that I see you, I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.